I think ERCNET is important for European clinicians and patients to listen, to learn, to exchange knowledge and to try to get at the same level of knowledge, treatment and access to treatment for all patients with rare kidney diseases. As an international European group, we are really powerful and it's easier to push the countries, the clinics, the clinicians, the patients to work together and therefore I hope we will be successful in the end to get the best treatment for all patients with rare kidney diseases in Europe. I contribute my voluntary time to ERCNET because I think it's of the most important value that new clinical trials will happen, that the children and the patients who are trialed will be safe and sound and all aspects of GDPR will be met. I think the network has a unique chance of making the change for the patients that are in need of new medication. I like to work as a volunteer for ERGNET because I think it is really important to have the voice of the patient in the discussion with the doctors and the researchers uh, because they, being a patient gives other information than just the medical needs. So we have made steps forward in the past years and I'm convinced that we will make more steps forward in the future. I still remember the first time I met Erkanet. Uh, it was because I wanted to know other hypomanisemia patients in Europe. How did they deal with the disease to share knowledge and experience? And in this moment, I know that there was no other patient association like the, my Spanish patient association of familiar hypomanisemias. In this moment, I know that we have a lot of work to do. So I'm there to bring the voice and experience of patients and families with those rare kidney conditions to, the, to ERCNET to make sure that um, their voices are heard and that their experiences are reflected in the work that goes on in ERCNET. So ERCNET is uh, an extremely important network across Europe for education of um, healthcare professionals, primarily clinicians, right across Europe, enabling all clinicians wherever they are to be able to handle and care for and treat and diagnose those patients with rare kidney diseases in the countries that, where they live. Uh, we also, um, as EPAGs, uh, contribute to other projects within ERCNET and across the whole of the European Reference Network, such as clinical practice guidelines, registries and research, and some other initiatives such as the Quality of Life Initiative. It's very difficult to find the right doctor to find a good expert, and after you've found a good expert, so you get updates on your disease, you are examined and you get hints and what you also need is a network, a social network for patients to speak with other patients. Furthermore, for all different rare diseases, research is very, very necessary because there are over 300 rare diseases, kidney diseases, and a lot of diseases are not yet really fully understood. And therefore, ERCNET is an organization to just to search for new information, to do research on different uh, rare diseases and to look what is missing and then do research on that specific things. So, Erkanet give us, uh, the, to the patient, this possibility to work with clinicians, to work together, to ask for our needs. Patients, families, has to know everything about his uh, disease. And this is what Erkanet could give all the, for the patients. So be part of Erkanet is very, very important for all the patients, all the families, and to be a community, a very, very important community. The engage of the patients, the participation of the patient in everything is very, very important. If we have our voices, 
we could ask for our concerns, and this is critical for us. So let's work together. <laughs>